Hello everyone, this is the last class for harmonizing with strength, so you may or may not require a resistance band. I'm going to come into some side stretches to start warming up. This class will consist of cardio hits, high intensity interval training fusion mixed with strengthening elements. And if my leggings don't give away how far readers work it will be, I don't know what will. Now we're coming into alternate knee stretches just to feel a nice stretch in our glutes. Now bring your left hand to your left ankle to stretch out our left side quad, but of course if you're mirroring me, you'll be on your right side. Switching sides, grabbing your right leg, but if you're mirroring me, you'll be grabbing your left. Now step to the back edge of your mat, coming into a forward fold. Now shuffle your feet out just slightly to arm width distance, forward fold again. Shuffle your feet out a bit further, hip width distance, forward fold again. Now coming up to standing, some air squats to warm up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now pulsing it out, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Wide legged goddess squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now goddess squat, double heel lift, stand back up. Goddess squat, double heel lift, stand back up. Now coming into your right side curtsy lunge, if you're mirroring me, you'll be coming to your left, middle squat, back to your curtsy lunge, and back to your squat. And now squat pulses, one, two, three, four, five, coming onto your left side curtsy lunge, and then a middle squat. Come to your left side curtsy lunge, middle squat. Squat pulses, one, two, three, four, five. Awesome and job. Coming into our first cardio burst, some star jumps. So whether taking the full spectrum star jumps or if it makes it easier just to step it out, no worries. But if you've got it in you, full blown star jumps. Well done, now stepping to the back of your mat, adjusting on your band if you have one. We're not gonna do anything crazy just yet, but we are going to come into a forward fold just to catch our breath and allow our heart rate to come back down. Now standing up and you're going to come into a never knee squat, combo and knee pump. So squat down, bring one knee to your chest, squat down, other knee to your chest. And keep going up to seven. Hands by your head now, opposite elbow to opposite knee, twists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. Now stepping your left foot forward, coming into a never feet three lunges. One, two, three, and by your third, expose the left knee to you, landing gently, and three lunges. 
2 and 3, explode your left knee to you, land gently and back to 3 lunges. So we're coming up to 5 and each time you explode your knee is your rep count. Now shift your weight into your right leg, you're going to come into some left side thigh leg lifts. One, two, engage in the core, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hinging forward now onto your left leg with a subtle bend, straight right leg glute kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now pulsing it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shifting your weight back to your right leg, left leg pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Coming back to the back of your mat, stepping your right foot forward, coming back to those three narrow foot lunges. And three, exploring the right knee to you, landing gently. Three narrow feet lunges. Explode your right knee to you, landing gently and keep going up to 5 now shifting your weight to your left leg right thigh lifts 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hinge forward on your right leg with a subtle bend. Straight leg lifts through your glutes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, pulsing it out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, shifting your weight again, this time right side pulses, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, awesome job, ditch that band, literally kick it away, take a breather just for a moment, and then re-prepare yourself for those cardio bursts, coming into your 15 star jumps. And away you go. So by all means, full bone star jumps. Or if it helps just to step it out, by all means. But if you got it, keep going with the full bone star jumps. And then stepping to the back of your mat, you're going to walk out, taking about four steps with your hands, four cross mountain climbers, walking back to your Tadasana, and that's one. Walking out, taking about four steps with your hands, four cross mountain climbers, and walking back. That's two. Coming down, walking out, four cross climbers, and walking back. That's three. Walking out, cross climbers, and on your fourth, you're going to shift your left leg forward, coming into a low lunge narrow lizard meaning we are not allowing our left knee to sink away from us and our toes aren't points outwards we're keeping our left leg nice and neutral but we are sinking through the hips and feeling a nice stretch in the legs keeping your chest broad now if you have the world of trouble grabbing onto your opposite hand opposite foot grab onto your same hand same foot but then pass off to your opposite hand and then sink into this twisted lunge posture Still feeling an amazing benefit stretch in the legs, but also the right side thigh. Releasing your foot if you had it, and shifting back into your halasana half splits. 
Just taking the extra moments to catch our breath, to allow our heart rate to come back down. Feel free to keep a flexed left foot. And then shift back and step back into your downward facing dog. I'm just going to hold here for a moment. Walking back now to the Tadasana, we're going to repeat those plank walks. So coming on down, taking about four steps, this time bringing your left knee to left elbow and walking back to Tadasana. That's one. Coming down, walking out, right knee to right elbow, walking back. That's two. Coming down, walking out, left knee, left elbow, walking back. That's three. Come by your fourth, walk out, right knee, right elbow. This time shifting your right foot to the front of your mat in a low and narrow lizard lunge, sinking through the hips. Don't allow for your right knee to sink away from you, keeping your chest broad. Feeling a nice stretch in your legs. Grabbing onto your opposite hand, opposite foot. Of course, again, if you do have trouble with doing so, then grab same hand, same foot, pass your foot over, and then sink into this twisted low lunge. Still feeling an amazing benefit in the legs, but more so our left side thigh. Releasing your foot if you had a grip on it. And then shifting it back to your halasana, your half split on your right side. And feel free to keep a flexed right foot. Stepping back into your downward facing dog, holding for just a breath. And then walking back to your tadasana. Now we're going to step left foot forward, coming back to those three lunges. This time your hands by your head. Three lunges. And then bringing right knee to left elbow. Step back, three lunges. Right knee, left elbow, step back. Three lunges. Right knee, left elbow. And then stretch out to a pyramid pose. Coming now up to your goddess squat, coming into rapid fire squats. I'm not going to count, you're just going to burst right into squats as many as you can manage. And now side lunge, goddess squat, side lunge and goddess squats. Coming over to our left for the lunges, but if you're mirroring me, you'll be coming over to your right. Now coming into a goddess squat hold, alternate heel lifts. So we aren't rising in our squats, we are staying low while alternating heels. Now coming into our next cardio burst, 15 star jumps. Either jumping it out or stepping it out, especially if you feel like your organs are jumping up and down with you, feel free to step it out. But if you've got it in you, continue on with the full burst star jumps. Now coming back to the back of your mat, coming into your right side narrow feet lunges, hands by your head. Lunge down one, two, three, don't mind my pup jewels. Left knee, right elbow and three lunges. Left knee, right elbow, and three lunges. Left knee, right elbow. Step it out if you need to, and stretch out to pyramid pose.
Now I'm turning to face you guys, but coming back into the Goddess Court Rapid Fire, as many as you can manage. Awesome job, however, many you've managed coming into right side lunge and then go to squat. Right side lunge, go to squat. If you're mirroring me, you'll be coming over to your left. Coming back down to your goddess squat hold, double heel lifts. We aren't rising in the legs, we are staying low to breathe your way through it. This is definitely why I wore red leggings so that you guys could tell just how far Reader's workout is. Nice work. Now coming into our last cardio burst star jumps, either full blown star jumps or if it makes you feel better and more manageable, feel free to step it out. Awesome job! Stepping now to the front of our mats, we've officially done with the cardio side of it. Coming into Tadasana, feel free to wipe off some sweats, take a sip of water. We're just going to hang out here in Tadasana for less than 30 seconds. Now widen your feet, mat distance, lowering the knees, malasana, and then safely shifting back, hands underneath your waist for more support, double leg drops for two, three, four, maintaining a bend in the knees if that helps take the edge off and make this exercise easier, we're just coming up to seven, from here, Cross your ankles and lower, lift, cross and lower, lift, cross and lower. So we're coming up to another seven of these. Now from here, flutter kick your legs down, wide feet coming back up. Flutter kick down. Wide feet coming back up. Another seven of these. Now releasing your arms by your side. Wide scissor kicks. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing job. You are done with the ab workout now. Shifting the way forward, however, you see fit to a child's pose, and we're going to combine our child's pose with some push ups. From your child's pose, shift forward, get your hips ready in position, push up, however, that looks and feels to you. Child's pose. Shift forward, push up. Back to child's pose. Back to your push up and child's pose. Now you might need to shift forward on your forearms a little bit, but coming forward to an elbow plank, hip dips either side, shift back to child's pose. Forearm plank, hip dips, child's pose. Shift forward, elbow plank, hip dips, child's pose, and keep going.
shifting now back to your child's pose, you've definitely deserved it. You made it to the other end of the workhouse, not an easy class. Feel free to relax through the elbows, taking a breath, and then gently walking your way up to a hero's pose. Adjusting yourself wherever you need to, just taking in a few nice deep breaths. Now raising your hands up above your head, all the energy that is above you, bring it on down to yourself. Thank you so much for being a part of this class. Whether you were just watching and or following, I do appreciate it either way. 22 classes, 20 minutes, I had an absolute blast filming them all for you. Thank you all so much for coming along this journey. And I definitely hope to see you all for the rest of my classes. Namaste.